Hey, Bill. So I got this, uh, finally got around to finishing the motorcycle, and I, uh, I've got this uh, 5C call it chuck in here. It's, it's actually not too bad. Um, you know, I mean, you know how Asian stuff is. Sometimes it's a little, little rough around the edges, but this actually for the money, I think I paid 185 or something for this. For the money, this is not too bad. Uh, it's five inches in diameter weighs just a little over nine pounds it's like nine pounds one ounce or something comes with a little chuck key as you can see here and then they've got an eject spring but it get, it's kind of annoying so i took it off already and then um you can see i've got all my collets over here oh this is let me see here if i got one uh this is one here that off eBay and uh, it had a little had like a little defect on it so the guy the guy was nice enough to send a replacement um, anyways the collets are pretty nice uh, I got a, a set that goes by 16th I believe as I recall um, and I, I put one in and and uh, use the chuck key you got to turn the chuck key uh, uh, you know like 50 or 100 times to get this thing to, to pull in all the way but um, I think it's going to be okay I've got to cut it uh, cut the backing plate for the Dalton to fit this uh, I'm going to I'm going to email Dennis and ask him some questions but um, for the money can't, there's not really too much to complain about I think my set of collets was like 50 bucks shipped 50 or 60 bucks and then the uh, the five the five C call it chuck here was like one eighty five plus I think it was fifteen or twenty bucks to ship. So it's pretty nicely made. Like I say, I mean it's got a, a touch of the kind of you know made in China, but not not too much. So um, I think if I I think if I clean it up a little bit and made it to the backing plate for the Dalton, I think it's going to be okay. Like, like I said in some of our emails, you know, as long as I can maintain a hundred thousandths uh, run out or maybe half a, you know, five ten thousandths run out or something, which I think I'm going to be able to do with this. I haven't put it on the lathe yet, but I, I think I'm going to be able to, uh, to get it sorted out to where it's pretty accurate. So, and I like the fact that it only weighs nine pounds because I, I don't want to, I don't want to overstress the, um, you know the spindle bearings on the Dalton since it is an older lathe so I was gonna get the I think it's the four inch bison one it's a little bit smaller but I think it weighs about the same so or the bison one might actually be a little bit better uh, a little bit heavier than this one so anyways that's it just thought I'd make a quick video and and let you see how it looks and like I say on the on the call it's pretty pretty pleased with those again just a, a little in the threading area they're just a little rougher than you would expect you know from like a hardinge or maybe a bison but you know when you figure they cost just a fraction of the, the high quality stuff it's I think you're you know you you got like 90 95 percent of it there for you know maybe a tenth of the cost so it's hard to argue with that so okay uh, I'll see about getting it on the lathe probably in the next few weeks and um, and I'll uh, put an indicator on it and, and see what it uh, see what it comes out to. So okay.